Hi guys. So I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes today about some of the tags that Colleen Ballinger was using on her Miranda Sings videos. As some of y'all might know, I've been talking about Colleen Ballinger's character Miranda Sings and how it's grossly problematic, ableist, and just overall gross. And the fact that a lot of her live shows were full of very young children. Her fans, for the longest time, would come in my comments and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Her content isn't for kids. Well, but here's the problem. As a full-time content creator, you know your algorithm. And you know who's buying your merch, coming to your shows, and watching the majority of your YouTube content. So if it's not for kids, then you need to reevaluate what your character is doing then and make your live shows 18 and up or 17 and up or something along those lines. You know who's consuming your content. So the fact that she was tagging some of her videos like this, and this credit goes to a Reddit post. I'll link the post down below. But there were a lot of people that were, not a lot, but there were some questions in the comments of, would YouTube have been adding these tags to her videos? My answer is no. YouTube does not tag your videos for you. That's something that you do on the back end. I have never seen any of my own videos tagged by YouTube. If I don't put the tags in, then the tags are completely blank. The fact that she was doing this Miranda content and she knew that kids were watching this and then tagging her videos in this way is hugely problematic and it confirms to me she knew exactly what she was doing. So let's start at the top and I also want to talk about Corey in this video and what he's been up to. Some of the tags on her videos are wet, gross, nasty, big lips, underwear, sexy, bathroom. One where she was talking about um, her cat, she had abusive, abuse, animal, and pet all in that video. Colleen Ballinger knows that people, ad adults online, will fetishize, fetishize certain things. She's not stupid. And she was tagging her videos to just such a disgusting level. I, I, I would not personally think to tag videos with any of these words, but it goes on to include other tags like bathing idiot, girl taking a bath, lips, porn, penis, naked and girls. So these tags being put in videos, she was trying to get attention from a certain group of people. And I think it's disgusting. So it's like her character, Miranda, it was almost like two worlds colliding because you might have some of these people who are finding her videos because of certain tags, but then you also have the kids who are going to her live shows also finding these videos. And those two groups of people are not, I, I wouldn't want an audience of kids and also people who are looking for certain type of content on YouTube. But that's just me. Colleen Ballinger is obviously unlike a lot of us. So as far as the tags go, I really just wanted to kind of add my perspective. And yes, I know I'm a small YouTuber and I don't know everything there is about the back end of YouTube, but in my experience of having uploaded for basically three years now, I've never seen YouTube tag things for me. And that's something that I've always had to do myself. So in my opinion, I think it was her doing the tags on her videos because I don't think that, what is she going to say? Oh, my manager was doing that? Really? Your manager was tagging your videos penis and porn. Really? Highly unlikely. Let's move on to the Corey update. This won't take very long, but I was rather surprised to see that Corey got a role in this Farmyard Follies. 
and I think his character is a fox. Don't remember because I don't really care. But to see that he was cast in this, I found it to be really interesting. Did he do this because his time with Colleen Bellinger is over? His career that he, his little career that he had with Colleen Bellinger is over? Is he separating himself from Colleen Ballinger. And if he's doing that, that's fine. He's an adult. He can do whatever he wants to do. But Corey still needs to answer for his own inappropriate behavior that he exhibited with fans. Typically, I would say, you know what? If, if he doesn't want to be associated with her anymore, that's fine. If it wasn't for him partaking in his own problematic behavior with underage fans. Roll the voice memo for anyone who doesn't remember it. Hey everyone, it's Corey. I just wanted to record a voice memo because I have like a lot to say. Um, but first of all, I just want to say that like I love all of you. Like you all honestly mean so much to me. Oh my god. Um, oh my you god. have no idea. I know that it sounds weird because I'm a full grown adult and some of you are younger. Oh my god. And blah blah blah. Oh but my god. um like I honestly think of all of you like as my best friends. Like I don't have friends. Oh and god. I'm a loner and I'm a loser. Like my only friend is Colleen. Oh my god. And like I it's so comforting to like go online and talk to you guys and and feel like loved and cared about because I love and care about all of you. Um Oof. and I trust you and like I like with all my friends, I vent to you, and when I'm angry, and I feel better, and I feel comforted by you all, and I hope that I can do the same for you, but, like, this whole thing with Krista is, has just escalated into something really bad. Oh my god. So there's a little reminder for you guys. The other thing, he posted another thirst trap. Earlier this month, he posted another thirst trap, and you guys, it has a whole two comments on it. So, this is somebody who is obviously going to try to just disengage and block any questions, critiques, criticism, whatever, until he can rely on the internet's short-term memory, and hopefully he can, you know, go on his merry way. I don't think this is someone who's going to take accountability. I hope that he does, but it's also been months and it's been crickets. The last thing I wanted to mention is when I was over on his Instagram, I also noticed that he still has Colleen Bellinger's cancer scam, I mean cancer fundraiser linked in his bio, which you can still actively donate to. As of today, September 25th, what are we on? September 25th. This video is going to go up the same day. So, I mean, all of us have questions about where those funds were going and you still have it linked and it's still active. So I don't know. I just find the whole thing very disturbing. I find the way that Colleen was trying to market Miranda is so disturbing. And until the past few months, anytime I talked about it, I would be made out to be, you know, someone who had fake outrage and why are you mad and blah, blah, blah. Um, I think more people are seeing it from my seat now. It's unfortunate that it had to get to this point. Um, but I'm glad that conversations can be had and I will continue to talk about this. I received a couple questions from Instagram followers who also follow me on YouTube and they said, are you done talking about Colleen Ballinger? Are you going to continue to cover her? Um, I'm never done talking about problematic creators unless I specifically say that I am done talking about a problematic creator. If I make it very obvious that I am done, I am walking away 110%, I am actually done. Um, I'm always up to talk about whatever's going on. And I think that Colleen deserves all the coverage in the world because I don't want her to become like, oh, well, it was a hot topic summer of 2023. And now people are on to other things. Like until there's some actual accountability by her and Corey both, I'll never be done talking about her. 
Same goes for her brother and her sister-in-law. They are still actively exploiting their children on social media. So they can get it too. I'm here to talk about it. But nevertheless, those couple updates. Tell me how you guys feel about all this down below. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.